Oklahoma hits the stage at the Civic Center Music Hall this week uh, through Saturday as part of Lyric Theater. I'm joined by Christopher Rice. Uh, it's very nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us here in studio today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. We're taping this on Wednesday. The show actually began Tuesday again. It runs through Saturday. How was opening night last night? Oh, so exhilarating. It's nice to finally have an audience. Um, you rehearse something and you trust the directors and the choreographers to make sure that the show is going to... They, they know what they're doing and you trust them. But when you finally have an audience, audience out there, it's just really, really, um, there's nothing like it. And the audience goes crazy for this, like the state song, Oklahoma. Uh, they all stand up and clap. It was really just uh, thrilling to be up on that stage. Yeah, we're going to get into this. A very distinguished career, uh, born and raised Oklahoma. We'll get into the background here. But how different is Oklahoma from other productions, such as Book of Mormon? Uh, just because here in Oklahoma, the state song, people are really getting into it. You mentioned that they stood up. Yeah, I mean, they were, it's so patriotic. Something about it felt so heroic <laughs> and patriotic. And I know it's just a musical, but it really got the whole audience going. I think Oklahoma's so special because it, it was probably like the second full book musical that was written. So it's old, but it's so funny because you read the script and you see the show and the show really holds up. It's really, uh, those writers really knew what they were doing and the comedy is just universal and timeless. And it's, uh, it's really fun to revisit that and see how well it holds up. Um, when you compare it to more modern shows like the Book of Mormon, uh, which the Book of Mormon may be a little more uh, racy or you know, <laughs> maybe. not quite as family friendly, but um, you find something that's similar in both is that they have universal themes and what we connect to, whether it's old art or uh, more current stuff, it's uh, the things that are universal that speak to us today. Uh, that's, what, that's why we like it, you know, that's why we connect to it. It plays the role of Will Parker in Oklahoma this week, Lyric Theater through Saturday at the Civic Center. Oklahoma is one of those songs we think we all know. Did you have any problem dusting out the, the parts and singing or any of that? I mean, I didn't, I, but I grew up on the movie, and uh, we used to go see the show live. They used to do it in Tulsa every summer at Discoveryland, and as a kid, I would go every summer, so I used to see it a lot. So I think I knew all the words coming in, but the average person may not know. Well, we went down to the Myriad Gardens in advance of this interview and asked some people on the street if they knew how to sing all the words to Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Oh, okay. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. And the waving wheat can sure smell sweet when the sun does. <laughs> when the wind comes right behind the rain. Oklahoma. That's all I remember. We forgot. <laughs> Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains and the waving wheat. It sure smells sweet, and I think that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> it sure smells sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. And the waving wheat can sure smell sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. It sure smells sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. Oklahoma, every night my honey lamb and I sit alone and talk. And watch the hawk making lazy circles in the sky. We know we belong to the land. We know we belong to the land. Yes, sir. And the land we belong to is grand. And when we say, yo. And when we say, yo. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah. 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 When you say, you, are you okay? Yay! And when we say, yep, are you okay? Yay! Oklahoma! Oklahoma! O-K-L-A-H-O-M-A! Oklahoma! Oklahoma! Oklahoma. 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 <laughs> Varying levels of talent there, right? Sure. We got some passion, though. That's important. That is the, that is the most important thing. That's the key. Any, any, <laughs> any budding superstars there you saw? Hey, you never know. Um, you never know. We got some variety of talent in there. You never know. How did you get started in theater? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, I first started dancing when I was younger. My sister would take ballet classes, and I would go with my mom to, like, sit during her class. And I would watch, and I clearly tried to, like, emulate it and try to, like, you know, mirror what she was doing in there and so they decided to put me in some classes and then I danced off and on um, all throughout my childhood and really got into musical theater. Um, I saw the national tour of Beauty and the Beast at the Civic Center which is kind of cool because now I'm performing there but um, I saw Beauty and the Beast and I realized for the first time that people could do this for a living, could perform and uh, support their families that way. I um, went to OU for musical theater and graduated um, in 2011. And after OU decided hey this is the career I want to do. Yeah actually before OU because you got to 
kind of whip yourself into shape. And um, as anyone has to do with their career, you have to set your goals and see what you need to do to accomplish those goals. So if my goal was to be on Broadway, I would need years of training. So I really sure. spend my time at school working towards that. And you did go to Broadway. How was yeah. that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just a dream come true. It's such a um, difficult field. As I mean, every field has their difficulties, but the percentage of people that um, follow through with it through the hardships and uh, make it as small and I just feel really I feel really honored. We mentioned uh, the Book of Mormon and, and that was the the Theodore production you were in correct? Yeah yeah I'm, and that right now actually I'm just on a three-week leave of absence so I um, a, a week from today I'll be back in the show so I'm back in New York City which is crazy. <laughs> I can't think of Book of Mormon without laughing. I mean <laughs> it is of course an inappropriate show and you, in some levels and you sure. mentioned perhaps not family friendly you know, but it's funny. Some it's, families it's equal, maybe on all families. <laughs> <equal> opportunity inappropriate <laughs> Absolutely. In, a, in a funny way. Yeah yeah they're really smart they uh, they don't just make jokes to make jokes or throw people under the bus just for the sake of doing it. They have uh, a really smart way of going about it. So uh, yeah, the kind of equal opportunity, as you said. You mentioned dancing. Uh, you have millions of views on YouTube for your tap dancing, which you are crazy talented at tap oh, dancing. Thanks. The Cups tap dance, the Anna Kendrick of uh, Pitch Perfect fame, over 2.81 2.8 million views on YouTube. It's crazy. And then Tappy, Pharrell, Pharrell Williams. Yeah. So how do you pick out these songs that, hey, I, I, could, I could tap dance to that? I mean, the first one, I heard the song, even in the movie, she does uh, the cup song, if you don't know it, she claps and uses the cup. Uh, it was kind of a fad, like a year or two ago, and everyone was doing covers of it online, trying to do, master the cups and singing. And I thought, man, this would be really cool because it's a simple beat if someone tapped it and then expanded from there. And I put it together with some friends and I put it online and I mean, yeah, a lot of people really liked it. Like Ryan Seacrest was tweeting it. Like a lot, a lot of cool celebs were giving us shout outs. And so it inspired me to do some more. And so I like to pick songs that people like and or artists that people like. My latest one with the song wasn't as popular, but the artist Megan Trainer who did all about that bass. So um, songs and artists that people connect with. Very nice. This is Christopher Rice. He is starring in Oklahoma. You can check it out, Lyric Theater at the Civic Center Music Hall through Saturday. Um, congratulations on all of your success. Thanks. Best of luck, if I could say that, yes. this week <laughs> here with Oklahoma. And uh, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks for coming in. Great Thank to you. Meet you. Thank you so much.